In this video demonstration, I'm going to instruct on how to approve line items on a purchase requisition and how to release the items to a purchase order. Okay, so I'm in the uh, requisition approval screen. That's this red currency symbol button. And actually, before I do any approvals here, I'm going to go into my program configuration screen and just kind of take a look at how the permissions uh, work as far as approval. Okay, so let's find one here that's inventory power user. So what we have here under inventory slash purchasing permissions on this first tab, we have our approval levels over here. Now this is instructed on in a previous video, but I do want to touch on it once again. For example, Power User right now has the ability to approve requisitions up to level two. Level two is for items uh, up to fifty thousand, and actually above twenty five hundred and less than or equal to fifty thousand. So these items would require two signatures. So when an item is approved in the line item uh, approval screen, one person can do it. The program signs it electronically based on the user ID. So there's no way that the same person can enter two signatures. Now, once they enter their signature, they can always undo their approval. So that's quite possible. All right, so let's go out of this screen and go back to our line item approvals. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to approve this requisition number four. So I select the first item and we look down here at the bottom of the screen it says it's a level two approval. Okay, so that's going to require a second person to log in to approve this item. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm, I think I'm going to approve a different one that has a lower amount. Otherwise, I'll have to log back in. Instead of doing that, why don't we do this? Why don't we go back and change these permissions? Okay, I'm going to go ahead and change this to only require one signature. Now yeah, let's see what that does. Now you have to be an administrator to get in there to do that. So let's come back here. Okay, so now it looks like I'm only required to do one signature on each. You can see how that works. All right, so I'm going to go ahead in here and I'm going to click approved. And we'll notice it says there's one required, zero obtained, signature needed, approved. Okay, that line turns green, checked approved. I go to the next one, same thing, one required, zero obtained, approved. And once again. And when I've approved all the items on that requisition, the program prompts me to release this requisition and these items to the purchasing department. So I'll say yes. Okay, so if I go to the purchasing screen now, we'll see those four items on that, rec or three items rather, on that requisition number four. And we can add these to a PO right from here. So I'll just hold down the control key, left mouse click, select all three of those. And what I want is just a new PO. It looks like it's set to auto number. We're on PO number 11. And I think I want to print preview that PO when it comes up. So really all I have to do if these defaults are what I want is click add items to PO. And the program creates a PO for me and brings it up in a print preview screen immediately. Okay, so there's my items. All right, there we go. Okay, so that's one way to create a PO. We'll be looking at another way to create a PO directly from the main purchasing screen in the next video.